what is up everybody this is beetle5 and welcome to another one of my reaction videos today me and my good friend the ginger here hello are gonna be reacting to the next death battle of dante versus bayonetta now oh, yeah. let's give our pre-post analysis of who we think is gonna win this death battle personally not only is dante my favorite swordsman in all of video game history but i know a good deal about dante and bayonetta and my theory is that dante is definitely gonna win this fight what about you ginger well, wait a minute. I don't really know a lot about Dante. I only know that he has, like, Devil May Cry. He's from that series. Yes, he's from the and Devil May Cry And he's, like, a demon. Yes, but... he's a demon killer, but he's half a demon. Yeah, but so far, I'm, I really like Super Smash Bros. And Bayonetta's in there, and I like how her story is. Like, she's a witch, and she's, like... And she hunts angels. Mm -hmm. So it's, like, cool. So, so on your analysis, though, of terms of power, who do you think will win this fight? I don't know. I'm just basing... Because I I know she has like the witch time and she also has like that okay, huge but dragon. Then, all right, then after they say their analysis, we'll both oh, yeah, give yeah. a fair opinion of who we think will win this fight. So without further oh, yeah. ado, let's begin this death battle. We are starting the video in three, two, one, go. This episode of Death Battle is brought to you by Angry Video Game Nerd Two Assimilation. Pre-order on Steam right now to save ten percent and get the soundtrack free. Hmm, I didn't know he's making another game. It's kind of cool. Oh yeah! Here we go, this is gonna be good shit right now. For some action heroes, it's not enough to just save the world. They've gotta look good doing it. <laughs> Dante, the Devil Hunter. Yes! Bayonetta, the Umbra Witch. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a, a death, death battle. battle. Yep. Oh man. Take a walk down Slum Avenue. And you'll find all sorts of hangouts for Damn. the scum of the underworld. The Bullseye Bar, a random strip club, and even <laughs> a run-down service shop called Devil May Cry. <laughs> None of the services they're selling aren't like washing your car or fixing your plumbing. Oh no, long as you got the cash, this shop specializes in delivering demonic beatdowns. Who's crazy enough to try making a living this way, you ask? His name is... Oh uh, yeah. From the very beginning, Dante's pizza. life was always unusual. Dante loves pizza. Born from the unholy union of a human mother and a demon father, Dante and his twin brother... Favorite dessert, Strawberry Sunday. That's from the anime. That's so cool. He makes references to that in the anime all the time. Yeah, see, his demon dad was a badass who single-handedly conquered the underworld and imprisoned its demon emperor, Mundus. Mundus. dad died, Mundus' minions felt Not brave Mundus. enough to take some revenge by slaughtering his family, leaving Dante an orphan. Bummer. When that <laughs> with his mother gone and his brother assumed dead, Dante was left with only one option. Become the ultimate demon hunter and perpetuate the cycle of vengeance. This party's getting crazy. Oh, I love this scene. Wow. This is from DMC3. Love <laughs> 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 Despite Love that. the dangerous nature of his occupation, Dante always maintains a carefree spirit oh, while such great games. of the underworld. It's part of his charm. Hell, when you've got abilities like Marvel's Dante, Capcom. why not be a little yeah. cocky? He's faster than the mortal eye can see, strong enough to grapple with the underworld's toughest demons, and straight up man enough to shake off being stabbed through the chest, like every goddamn day. <laughs> That's thanks to his regenerative ability. In oh, fact, okay. all of that is made possible due to his demonic heritage, and made even more deadly by his plethora of weapons. Yeah, Dante his has too many being weapons. His dual pistols and enormous sword. Like any proud weapon owner, he gives his tools of destruction pet names. His guns, Ebony and Ivory, specialize in long-range shots and rapid-fire barrages, respectively. These hand cannons are so powerful, they can each obliterate demons in a single shot. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god, that looks such a better. Rebellion is a wow. large magical sword given to him by his pops, which can cut any demon down to size in the blink of an eye. You have to watch the anime, it's so good. His brother's sword, Yamato, which can cut okay. through dimensions. Throughout his <laughs> adventures, Dante also collected a wide assortment of additional weaponry called Devil Arms. Physical manifestations of powerful demons he has defeated. Remember Mega Man? It, it's that, <laughs> but on steroids. His armor, Gilgamesh Gauntlets, increases striking power, letting him shatter huge monoliths with a oh, lethal one-inch punch. With Lucifer, the backpack, not the devil, Dante basically throws infinite lightsabers. 
He's also got an electric guitar, which is literally electric. <laughs> this is literally electric. Grenade launchers, shotguns, and I kid you not, a briefcase that can transport. 666. I love that. Wow. Ranging from a giant Pandora. To a flying turret gun. Where does he possibly keep all this stuff? Oh man. Really, really. Hey, he's just played Link from the Legend of Zelda. Or yeah. Perhaps it's one of his <laughs> styles. Abilities he's also acquired from defeating demon bosses. With doppelganger style, he can duplicate himself. With trickster style, he can teleport instantly. With royal guard style, he becomes a nigh impervious dreadnought, and he can even slow down time with the quicksilver <gasps> style. I didn't know that. On the rare occasion Dante feels he needs to get serious, he enters the devil trigger. So he can slow down time just like Bayonetta. Oh. Oh. This is like one of the perfect matches. Yeah, wait. Increases his strength, speed, and healing power. And he can fly! Being so well armed, Dante is more than capable of handling entire hordes of demons on his own. Although this doesn't stop some of his allies from joining in from time to time. Trish. This includes Trish, a demon lady who occasionally fights alongside him, and happens to resemble his deceased mother. Talk about giving somebody an Oedipus complex. Hey, <laughs> if wow. I may quote an old family saying, if she's not directly related, she's safe to be dated. That explains a lot. <laughs> Luckily, and quite surprisingly, that avenue was never explored. Thank God. <laughs> He's right. Walking, talking, feet achieving machine. One time, after getting impaled by four demons at once, he oh. pushed one so hard it exploded and dropped a ceiling fan on the other three <laughs> while eating a slice wow. of pizza. Oh, and when their friends showed up, he challenged them to a game of billiards. <laughs> oh, 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 he was run down the side of a building so fast he caught fire, similar to a spacecraft re-entering the atmosphere at approximately seven. Can be stabbed through the heart or shot in the head and yeah, brush it off. Capable of taking out others just as overpowered as himself, like his brother Virgil, who was not dead but evil. He stopped a colossal punch from this titanic monster without breaking a sweat, shrugged off bombardment by meteors, and eventually avenged his mother by defeating the demon lord Mundus in space. You oh, may be asking yourself, can anything stop this guy? Yes, Dante does have a limit to how much punishment he can take, but if there's anything that could take him down, it's his own cocky attitude. In the words of the ancient Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu, there is no greater danger than underestimating your opponent. I'm gonna have to disagree with old Lao Tzu here. Pretty <laughs> sure there's no greater danger than telling a woman those brands do in fact make her ass look fat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, great scene. And jackpot. Oh, I love that scene. <sighs> He's going to win From this. From the angels Beta. of Paradiso to the demons of Inferno, there is a name feared by both the light and the dark. And her name is Bayonetta. To any normal guy walking down the street, she may look oh like my god, right she's tall. tall gargantuan yeah. Amazon <laughs> gargantuan, she's <laughs> fucking tall, man. Is actually one of Once the babysit her witches, childhood self. Yeah, that was in the first game. Named That's her. Upon birth, she spent her early life growing up an outcast due to her parents being from rival clans. Her father, a Lumen Sage, and her mother, an Umbro Witch. See, the sages and witches had one rule to follow. Don't make babies with the opposite clan because, according to prophecy, it would bring on the destruction of the universe. <laughs> so, naturally, it was only a matter of time before somebody couldn't keep it in their pants. <sighs> <laughs> Pulling out works every time. But the <laughs> <laughs> with the pack now broken, war ensued between the two well, that's an awesome costume In the for end, her. only two witches survived. Cereza and her rival slash future friend, Jean. Hoping to prevent the apocalypse, Jean used a special dagger to seal away Cereza's memories and put her into a 500 year long coma. Wow. When yeah. Cereza woke up from her epic power nap, she took on her new name, Bayonetta, and set out to find her lost memories. Luckily for her, she had just the right weapon for the job. Her hair! <laughs> as an Umbro witch, not only does her hair serve as her clothing, which I'm having a really hard time deciding whether or not that's hot, or just disgusting. <laughs> she also use it to summon the demon Madama Butterfly to aid her in battle. This technique, the Wicked Weaves, creates portals for the giant demon to deliver devastating punches and kicks. Bayonetta can also walk on walls and ceilings with Witch Walk, and even transform into animals to fly, run super fast, and dodge attacks. 
but her most useful technique is Witch Time. By slowing down time itself, Bayonetta can dodge practically anything while unleashing a barrage of attacks. Bayonetta is basically a tall, the, sexy A chain chomp. <laughs> she wears yeah. gauntlets called Durga, which attack with fire and electricity. A huge sight that rots the souls of its victims, and a freaking lightsaber wow. called Pillow Talk. A lightsaber she has a <laughs> called Pillow Talk. Heroes, a chainsaw made of dragon scales, a massive hammer that can cause earthquakes with every strike, and even ice skates, which... Attack with ice, obviously. <laughs> but her most beloved weapons are her. She has just as many weapons as Dante does. Blue. Yeah. Rather than swap between them like a normal person, she somehow manages to wield all of them at once by using not only her hands but also her feet. How does that work? Does she have like some kind of weird thumbs on her ankles? Or something? <laughs> that would kind of detract from the hotness factor just a bit. Oh my God! She's covered in hair and she uses her feet like hands. She's a monkey! <laughs> I highly doubt that. She probably just uses some sort of magic. Speaking of magic, when Bayonetta wants to unleash her full potential, she triggers her Umbran Climax. <laughs> oh, that's a strong ass move. Which increases her strength and lets her summon Madama Butterfly's full unrestrained power. Oh, man. When fully unleashed, Madama Butterfly can shatter huge meteors by headbutting them. Uh, Climax. <laughs> so, Bayonetta has pulled off some impressive feats. She's strong enough to kick military jets into the air. Oh, yeah. And was... Skyscrapers across the city and even throws satellites with her legs in outer space. That was an awesome scene. Oh, by the way, she can survive outer space. Using which so time, Dante. she's able to defeat yeah. this thing in only a matter of real time seconds. Even without which time, her reaction speed is astronomical. For example, cool. when a Lumen Sage stopped time to position newly fired bullets about three feet behind her, she managed to not only turn and identify the incoming threat, but also dodge all 16 of them. Oh. Considering regular bullets hey. travel around 2,500 feet per second, she must have pulled all that off in less than one thousandth of a second. Oh my god. there's that one time my when she god. killed God. You know, by scissoring her hair with Jeans and punching the creator's soul across the entire solar system into the sun? Oh. Okay, obviously Bayonetta's feats and abilities are absolutely ridiculous, but she is sometimes rather inconsistent. Despite her reaction time, she's been caught off guard by enemies ranging from a half-god called Lobster, or something like that, and even a plant monster that managed to grab her out of the air. But regardless of whatever weaknesses she may have, Bayonetta's achieved more than anyone could possibly imagine, despite being 100% human. Wait, she <laughs> is human? Dibs. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I thought Umber Witches weren't human. Oh man. All right. All well, right, it's gonna be so close, but I think the fact that Dante can kill demons and she and she specializes in summoning demons while. Was it? Bayonetta has really only killed angels. Dante is the one that can kill demons and stuff. So that's why I think he has an edge against Bayonetta. You think Bayonetta? All right, I, I have to stick with Dante. I can't, I can't abandon Dante. I don't know. It's gonna be so close. Yeah, Bayonetta's feats are amazing, but I don't know. Neither one really. They didn't really distinguish any weaknesses among either of them. So. It's not yeah, like right one's now. weak against the other. They didn't say it. All right, let's just do this, boy. You ready for this shit? Oh man. So when does Dante go to church? The graphics. Yeah, look at this shit. I'm glad that they're using original Dante, not using a DMC Dante. They didn't show a single clip from DMC Dante. Another wandering lost soul, I see. Whoa. <laughs> lost? Nah. I'm looking for something called a left eye. <laughs> Care to give me a hand? That's cool. That's what she, <laughs> That's what she see. has. But if you're looking for the left eye, that would either make you an angel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Or a team. Oh, awesome new intro! Get back. Oh my god! Oh! Damn! 
Oh shit! Oh! <laughs> Caught it in his fucking mouth! Oh man! Oh! Come on, Dante! You got this, man! You got this shit! Oh, oh! Oh no, which type? Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh, oh! Oh! What a disappointing finish. Come on, Dante! That ain't it. That's not gonna end. Hell yeah. Look at that. Is that all you got, sister? <laughs> oh! Ooh. He totally br brushed all that off. <laughs> Looks like you're more of a man than I thought. Oh, they're katanas! Come on! Oh man. Oh, 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 his own time stop. His own time stop. What? <laughs> Haven't used this in a while. Uh -huh. Got it. Oh. In the Oh, oh. <laughs> You're a naughty boy hitting a girl like that. You need to be taught a lesson. Oh god, she has a whip. <laughs> oh shit. Come on, Dante needs to use more of his weapons here. He's got so many more. If you like that, you're gonna love this. Oh! Oh! Gamora! Gamora! Oh! 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 Look at this! Oh! Just wrecked Gamora! Oh. oh! This is where we part ways, love. After you. Trish! Dante. What? But there's no outside help and death battle allowed! Oh, John! Oh! Ah, come on, Trish. You missed. Oh, don't be a baby. Let's finish her off. They're overlooking this rule now! John. Cereza, having oh, some thigh trouble? Awesome. Not to worry, I've got this one handled. Wait, we're getting paid for this one, right? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, look at this! <laughs> this is so amazing, this changes all that Death Battle is about now! They've always made the rule, no outside help to Death Battle! This is gonna open up so many new opportunities! Oh my god, her sight! <laughs> Oh! Oh! Oh, what shot? Oh, nice sword. Oh! Pandora! Oh! Oh my god! Yeah, beats within. Dude! It's like it's the Umbra Clock Tower! It's the Umbra Clock Tower! The rip stole? You're one to talk. That color looks terrible on you. Uh, bitch! <laughs> bitch! <laughs> Trish! Trish! Wait! Best pay attention, boy! Oh, come on! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Devil Trigger! Devil Trigger! Umbra Climax! <laughs> Oh, Madama Butterfly!
meet any nice girls. KO! Worst date. I knew it! I knew we would win! Lost their friends. I think. What happened to Trish and John? Are they still fighting? Well, I'll show you how I think it went down in my new show, DBX. Oh, that's cool. What? Did, did you actually do analysis on your own? <laughs> Hell no! I'm just gonna make them fight. Yeah, you would. <laughs> <laughs> and what actually matters, it's true that Bayonetta's satellite throwing yes, feet trumps any and all of Dante's physical displays of strength. However, Dante edges out in every other category. Yes. His arsenal matched and exceeded Bayonetta's blow for blow. Hell, even a giant demon like Madama Butterfly is nothing new to this demon slayer for hire. But most of all, Bayonetta didn't have many ways to actually kill him. I mean, the dude shrugs out mortal wounds every day like they were nothing more than bug bites. <laughs> take a bullet, but unlike Dante, when Bayonetta's stabbed, it hurts. That's why <laughs> avoiding attacks was her specialty. Okay. But she could only dodge for so long against somebody like Dante. Early in their careers, Dante and Virgil obliterated each and every raindrop within a 12-foot radius, oh. briefly creating a completely open space in a rainstorm. Wow. Oh. 30 raindrops can occupy a cubic foot on average, meaning they destroyed 108,000 raindrops oh. in less than a second. What? The extra Damn. Of style. What the Even second? with Bayonetta's absurd reaction speed, Dante striking so much space in so little time far outclasses anything she has ever had to avoid. Even when she tried avoiding him with which time, Dante's Quicksilver even the playing field. Basically making it useless. It was just a matter of time before Bayonetta suffered the fatal blow. Well, you know what they say. Hair today, gone tomorrow. <laughs> the winner is Dante. Yes, I knew Dante would. I knew he was going to win this. <laughs> oh, boy. This is, here we go, here we go. Oh, Bowser? Yeah, it might be him. Bowser? Yep. Bowser. Ooh, Bowser versus who? Wow. Come on, show us who you're painting again. Show us, show us. Aww. Hey everybody, I'm Chad. All right. I'm Ben. I play Wiz. And That's cool though. What who Bowser will fight? Premiere of what? season three. We've got a Wait. ton of awesome episodes planned for the rest of the season, the rest of the year. Thank you for joining us. And thank you so much to Angry Video Game Nerd 2 Assimilation. It's actually our game who sponsored the episode, so it would really mean a lot if you click a link in the description and check out the game. If you dig it, you can pre-order it right now, get 10% off, and a free soundtrack. And speaking of links, click that link over there to check out our new show, DBX. It's kind of like Death Battle with fights and everything, but there's no rules, no analysis, only bloodshed. And this time, you get to find out what mm, happens. So it's like One Minute Melee. Or for more yeah. shameless promotion, we have t-shirts. Look, they're sexy. Maybe they're stopping One Minute Melee and doing this like instead now. Merchandise leak. If you're an IT sponsor, you save 5%. Which is cool. I didn't like One Minute Melee anyway. find out who Bowser is going to be fighting. We had a lot to say. Yeah, we do. See you guys in the next one. Who is he going to be versing? I'm wondering. I, I, I feel like Bowser should have been somebody that they put in a long time ago. Yeah. Oh my god. That was so... Good. Oh, Thanks so much for watching me watch the Death Battle. I think we're going to do reactions to Death Battle much more often now. See, that there are not oh, yeah. too many out there. I know some of you guys like to see them. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment of what else I should react to in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Laters. Yeah.